problems and big challenges, you have to take big risks. We've got a massive challenge here, right? Like the challenge that we all deal with every day here is literacy. So we've said, well, how do we use gaming technology to improve literacy? <laughs> I think that for the child who comes from an impoverished background, will never be exposed in other circumstances to such technology, this opens a new world for them. You know, although the children don't have language skills, but because it's gaming, they're so eager to participate. And, you know, they're eager to be involved. They want to have a turn. Not only is it, is it teaching the children literacy skills and numeracy skills, but also they're getting used to technology, you know. And if you look at the world, it's becoming computer orientated. Once I could play the games myself, I felt very comfortable. And I could definitely see it working with the kids. I could see how they would embrace it and how we could use it in our curriculum. And even those who are reluctant to speak, the shyer learner, the quieter learner now, once they get up there and they find they can do this, their confidence is boosted. They're quick to think when it comes to numbers. There's one game we played last week which is called Avatar with the great ones, where they have to create, they, you know, they have to create their whole bodies and stuff. When it comes to, when we did that, I saw that it comes to creativity, they learn to be creative. The education revolution has begun. No more monologue by the teacher aimed at the students who don't retain half of what they hear. No more boredom in the classroom as pupils' eyes stare to the outside to engage their imagination. Language is no longer the barrier. Physical impairment is no longer a shortcoming and geographic location can no longer hold them back. Interactive schooling is the way of the future and will attain the equality that has eluded us for so long in education. Technology has been the catalyst for every human advancement in the past century and this time will be no different. It's the best thing we've ever had in a school and I think if the other schools actually, if they're going to get it, then they're going to love it. They find it interesting and of course if there's an interest, then learning takes place. I've been teaching 20 years but I, I, I've got a new zest for this education and I, if I may also just add a little plea, the third grade one class needs an Xbox. <laughs> because it makes me so excited to see the development amongst our children. 